Hi guys, and today we are going to be making some flock out of kitchen sponge. So what you'll need is a ripped up kitchen sponge. This is an old one. But you take the green bit off. A blender. Some paint. And some PVA. So what I'll do is I will put this down and crack on right so what we do first is take our bottle and put the foam in and then we want to put a level amount of water in and one drop of washing up liquid. Screw the lid on. Cool. Get in. Now what it'll do is when you start mixing, it will bounce up and down. And that's it's, it's still big chunks. When the water levels and it doesn't bounce anymore, then it's ready. So I'm gonna get this on, you might wanna turn the volume down or just mute it for a second. As you can see it's still bouncing up and down so it's not quite ready so give it a long blast and then a couple of punches. that depends what you want it for if you want it a clump foliage for like trees then you can just look at the pe the pieces like this and you can see there's still some big chunks which is fine if you want a, a finer flock for like thick grass or small bushes you just keep it in until it's fine what we'll do with this now take this off should have got stuff ready first but obviously i didn't i need i need a sieve have one here somewhere. There we go. Just need a sieve and a large bowl to sieve it to. What you will need to do is get some water in this and swirl it out. Because you get little pieces stuck to it. I'll wash them out properly later. And you're left with this. Now all you do is just squeeze the water out. Because if, if you put too much water in it, when you add the glue and the paint, it doesn't really stick very well. It takes a long, long time to dry. I mean, I only use one kitchen sponge. And as you can see, this would be good for like one large tree or two medium trees. But you just use more sponges. I mean, if you've got an old kitchen sponge and you're going to throw it, just do that. I mean, that looks quite decent as is. You could just use some glue and no paint. But I like to add a bit of a diversity to it. What we do is we get rid of this. Keep that there for a minute. Get a tub. As I say, I should have done this before, but I didn't. Now what I might do is I put this to the side. Get a tub. PVA and 
I'm just lighting my oven because this is how we dry it out. You put it on the lowest setting. Add a bit of green. Add a bit of yellow. And a tiny bit of black. don't really want to use a paintbrush for this but I do have some barbecue skimmers modern art so what we do now is you just add the flock that can be washed and just mix it in You can add a bit of water to this, which makes it mix a lot easier. But I just it just makes the drying time go from a couple of hours to like four days. And I can't be bothered. So yeah, as you can see, you just mix, 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 and it does go together. Now this is one colour, but if you do another batch in a slightly different colour, and then another batch in say like an orange, you can mix them together to get like a really realistic multicolored tree effect. I mean, cause not all leaves are the same color. So if you mix them all together at the end when you're applying them, you get a really nice effect. But I'm just showing you this quick. I know it looks a bit like the danky dankness, but whatever. You're not getting arrested for it. Now you just want to try and spread this out as much as you can. The flatter it is, the quicker it dries. Tray. Put it in the oven. Now keep checking it every like 10-15 minutes. It shouldn't take that long. But what I will do is stop the video and time it, and then I can let you know how long it takes. So I'll see you in a bit. My flock has been in for about an hour on the lowest setting, and it's nearly dry, but it's not quite. But I'm going to be taking it out in a second anyway uh, to mix it with some existing flock that I made. Now this flock is the foam flock, what I'm making. But I mixed a little bit of sawdust in with it. But I didn't cook this one. I just left it to dry naturally. And as you can see, you get like dead leaf look in it. But this is the same. I just got some sawdust, put some water and a bit of washing up liquid in it. Put it in the blender and just smashed it until it was tiny and then added it to my existing foam just creates a bit of a different texture and a, a bit of color variation so i will get my foam flock out and we'll carry on so i'll just set this down there and i'll get my foam flock out
Now, if you're doing this, make sure you have a responsible adult because this is very hot when it comes out. Get rid of this. Now you'll need something to get this off because it's a bit stuck. So I'll just get another skewer. As you can see, it's still a tiny bit tacky. But that's fine because I'm adding it to some existing flock that I've already made. So that'll soak up the extra glue and paint. I'll just loosen it from the parchment paper, baking paper, whatever it is. And then I should be able to just pour it in. There we go. Right, these little bits that are left over. Just give it a scrape. Now when this is fully dry, if you want to make it finer for ground covering, you just smash it through the, gri the grinder, blender, whatever you have. You just smash it through that again. But what I'm going to do... Put another sheet of this. Just, there we go. Just so you can see, it clumps up nice, but it does break apart. So you can break it down really fine to use on bases, like little bushes. Or if you have a big tree, you can just bunch it together and put that on a branch. So yeah, that's how I make foam flock. As you can see, it's still a bit wet, but when it dries it will be the same if I mean if you bunch it all together like this and let it dry it will dry like that and then you can just pick it up and use it or you can separate it because it's foam and you've used pva you can just when it's dry just pva it back together super glue works hot glue works the only thing is with super glue is you do get some fumes and it does melt it slightly so you have to be really careful, use a sparing amount. The best glue is either hot glue, PVA glue, or spray glue. So yeah, I hope you liked my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I'm also on Ko-fi. If you'd like to sling me a donation, just leave a comment and I'll put my Ko-fi up. I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.